In this lesson, we'll be setting up a new CAM program. After completing this lesson, you'll be able to create a new CAM setup and modify view properties to match a part. For this next lesson, we want to upload the supplied file, Forming Die. This file contains two solid bodies within a component. We have a lower die and an upper die. We're going to be focusing on the upper die and talking about our multi-axis SWARF toolpath. But to get started, we want to navigate to the Manufacture Workspace, and we want to create a new setup. The new setup is going to focus solely on this body. And since we're only going to be concerning ourselves with a multi-axis SWARF toolpath and not taking a look at doing a 3D adaptive clearing or really getting any of the rest of this part machined, we're going to simply focus on making the stock relative size with no additional amount added to it and then making sure that our coordinate system is correct. For this, we're going to reselect the Z coordinate system, and it's going to be our Y, but we want Z to be pointing up. And then we're going to use the box point location in the upper left-hand corner. Once we've done that, we can select OK. And then I'm going to navigate up to my units and change these to be inch. So now inside of our design in the manufacturer workspace, the orientation of our part for the traditional home view isn't correct. We want the home view to reflect our setup. So let's rotate the part around and we're going to use our view cube to select this corner. Then we're going to use our drop down to reset the current view as home fit to view. This means if I rotate this around, then I select the home button, It'll go back to the home view based on the orientation of my part, not on the orientation of the entire file. You will notice that the rest of the traditional views are upside down, in this case right, back, and bottom. And those current views can be reset. For example, if I go to my bottom view, I can use this drop down and set the current view as top. When I do that, now you can see that the view cube represents top as the top of my part. My home view is my new reset home view, but the X, Y, and Z axes are still based on the original file. We're not reorienting the original coordinate system, but we are able to shift around the view cube and our home view. That way it's representative of the part that we're working on. Let's go ahead and save this file before we hop into creating any toolpaths.